always kind of wanted to be involved in music. I played music growing up. I was in bands like in high school and it was always just kind of like a passion thing for me. I was just fascinated by like getting this band, getting this musician to this town and like building this event. All right, you got a band, you know, we need a stage, we need chairs, you know, we need to sell tickets, you know, we need like sound equipment, you know, we need lighting, we need, you know, catering backstage. All these bands that we all loved would play Boston, you know, they'd do like Philly, New York, Boston, and then they'd go right to Montreal and skip right over us. And it was more just me going to these shows and being like, you know, why aren't these shows coming to Burlington, you know? And I figured I knew enough about how to book a concert that I may as well just try it. You know, I may not know a lot about the band. I think they're good. But you book them and then all of a sudden you like create an event. And someone's like, oh my God, like this is my favorite band. I can't believe they're coming to Burlington, you know? And it's just like, all right, like, you know, I just did something really good for this person. <laughs> it's not as much pressure as the bigger cities. And then they come here and it's just this like small, quiet, kind of casual place. And we're able to just be like, you know, whenever the bands show up, you know, like one of the first things we tell them, I'm just like, look, you know, they're like, what's our set time? What's our door time? And I'm like, look, you know, this stage, this time, and just have fun, you know, like, if you have a curfew, you know, if you want to play all the way up to it, then great, you know, but like, I just want you to know, like, there's no pressure here, like, just have fun. And like, that kind of sets the tone for the night. And the music community here as a whole is very supportive and very into it. The fans are usually, you know, the crowds, that's a big thing for bands, is like the crowd that they're playing to. Um, and in here, it's, it's almost always like one of the best crowds that the band will get on a tour. Like they come because like they heard about the band, they liked them, and some, you know, they listened to them and they want to see the show, you know, and like a place like this, it's small enough, it's intimate enough that like, you know, you can really kind of get a great experience with the band. You're like in a room, you know, it's like the band's right there in front of you. You know, you can talk to them after the show. It's like we're all in the same room together. You know, so it just makes for, for a much better experience, an enjoyable experience. Not just for not just for the fans and us, but for the band. It's, we we realize it's never gonna be this huge, massive thing, you know, but that's great to us. We don't want it to be that, you know. We love the fact that it's like a small city and it's a small scene. It's a very like communal vibe, you know, like everyone knows each other. We know all the bands, we know all the people, like we know all the businesses. In the end of the day, like we're all music fans, like we're all just fans of these bands and like, you know, like we're all people that go to concerts just like everyone else. So it's cool to be able to kind of like come at it from that standpoint and just be like, let's just go do this. Like, we know how to do it. Like, let's, we know the bands. Like, let's just get everyone and create this like really cool experience. <laughs>